As a saying goes, image is not just everything, but the only thing that should define anybody or organization that wishes to be given due respect and recognition in the society, and this is a universal precept. In the same token, cognizant of the importance attached to the issue of pedigree and background, especially when it has to do with a long-life relationship, the matter becomes even more serious. That's why the families of Chief Kole and Chief Mrs. Akwinka Abayomi and Chief Adem Ayobasi and late Chief Mrs. Jesse Edembasi took their time to do a thorough check on each other and having come out with a clean bill of health on all areas considered, they both gave their children the go-ahead to actualize their intention to engage each other as life partners. The bride is the granddaughter of the legendary Sir Kofor Biomi, whose heroic exploits with other men of iron and steel of his generation to properly position Lagos State will forever remain evergreen and appreciated by all Lagosians and Nigerians indeed. On his own part, the groom comes from a great pedigree and he lost his background from Cross River State where his father, Chief Adam Ayobasi, has played a significant role in the growth and development of Cross River State. The traditional engagement ceremony between Kuforola Aramide Abayomi, daughter of Chief Dr. Kole Abayomi, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, OON, who held sway many years ago at the very top of the management of the Nigerian Law School, to Sonny Edembasi, who resides in London with his wife-to-be, who are both from different cultural backgrounds, is one of those marriages that will further deepen our relationship as a people. As to be expected, as both families enjoy tremendous goodwill and respect from the people, especially from the high echelon of the society, the event featured a high caliber attendance of those that matter in the diverse areas of influence in the land. The Allah of Yonvoyo, Oba Lamidia Deemi III, a devout Muslim, Defy the Ramadan fast to be part of the great event. The Allah Fionvoya was there to rejoice with Chief Kolia Bayomi, a nephew to Sir Kofor Bayomi, whom we gather lived in Oyo town in the early days of his life. The Allah of Udugbulu Obadidi Jonoguru Ainukun State was there in attendance to give conjugal support to his wife, who is related to the mother of the bride. Former Governor of Lagos State, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu was represented at the event by Chief Pius Akinelure. Anchored by the uncle of the bride, Mr. Lulu Oshimbo Ali, the traditional marriage began with the groom colorfully dressed in an eye-catching traditional attire of ethnic people in Cross River State, storming the arena with his friends amidst singing and dancing. The groom particularly thrilled family members and well-wishers as he showed off proper traditional dance steps to convince everyone that is a true son of the soil. The groom and his friends went through the usual drill before the parents of the bride, who showered prayers on him in return. They are his new parents, by the way. The dowry and gifts items were uniquely displayed in a conspicuous position for all eyes to see. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Gorgeously dressed in a white irambu but with a touch of gold, the beautiful bride made a gorgeous entry into the arena. The bride quickly connects with her parents and other family members. The mother of the bride, Chief Mrs. Akwinke Abayomi, offered heartfelt prayers to her daughter 
after which the bride went before her parents-in-law to receive further prayers from them. <laughs> It was prayers galore for the success of the marriage. Before an important aspect of the event was carried out, the former handover of the bride to the family of her husband, the Eden Basses, and the groom watched with great expectation and joy. With the support of his parents, in the name of the Father, Amen, and of the Son, Amen, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Yeah, yeah. At this point, the couple exchange their engagement rings. This is followed as usual by the cutting of the wedding cake. Having fulfilled all righteousness as regards what tradition demands of an engagement ceremony, the couple got set for the dance of their lives as they made gracious movements in response to the live band's performance. The temper of the music rose consistently, resulting into an increase in the number of guests on the dance floor, both young and old, who could not resist the temptation of the music. <laughs> quickly changed into a different traditional attire of the ethnic people as a way to relay the message that she has now become a part of them by virtue of marriage, dancing along her hubby in company of their friends. There was a special traditional rendition of songs and dance by a traditional troupe from Epic Kingdom. 
This was to specially honor the groom at whose instance they have come all the way from Ethic Kingdom for the great event. The couple went around the arena thanking all their guests one after the other as customs demands. The couple engaged in photograph and video session. It was merry making all the way as the event wound down. <laughs> Grand wedding between Kufurola Aramide Abayomi and Sonny Edimbasi takes place in London on 13th of September 2014. We pray that God will guide them. <laughs>